God sets us apart and we are spiritually quarantined by Him, then it is our responsibility and we have to make the effort to self-quarantine ourselves spiritually. If you would turn to 2 Corinthians, the book of 2 Corinthians in the 6th chapter, and we'll read where God instructs us to self-quarantine ourselves spiritually from the world. 2 Corinthians 6 and verse 17. It says, Therefore, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean, and I will receive you. So, brethren, the first part of that verse says, Therefore, come out. This is our instruction to separate ourselves from someone, something, someplace, just as we saw in one of the synonyms for the word quarantine. If Linda, now Linda has become a gardener, she's always been kind of a gardener, but really this year, I think maybe because of the quarantine and less distractions, she's really become a gardener. Dad says she's been transformed into a garden woman. Now Linda often wants to show off and tell me and show me about how good her plants are growing and her flowers are growing. So she wants me to separate myself from the couch and from the television as I'm watching the Braves play baseball game and separate myself from the sofa and come out and look at the garden with her and her flowers and her plants. So that's kind of what it means here. You have to come out. You have to, there's effort on our part in order to come, come out and separate ourselves spiritually from the world. What does it mean from among them? Who, who or what is them? Of course, it's the people. It's our neighbors. It's the people that surround us in this world that have not been called by God at this time. But before you think that you're any better, God also says that he's called the weak and the base things. So them are the people in the world. And then going on into the scripture, it says, And be separate, says the Lord. So, brethren, we must separate ourselves spiritually from the ways and the customs of the world in order to be spiritually quarantined. And then the last part of the verse says, Do not touch what is unclean, and I will receive, receive you. Now, is this talking about don't touch a dirty floor, or don't touch a dirty dish, or is that the kind of unclean that it's talking about? Or maybe people would say, well, they're talking about clean and unclean animals, and clean and unclean meats. Well, no, it's talking about the unclean spirits and the unclean practices that are extant in the world around us. And only by being spiritually clean will God receive us. The second scripture I'd like to take a look at this morning, brethren, is Revelation chapter 18. Revelation chapter 18 will also see where God is instructing us to come out or to be spiritually quarantined from a system and from a world that's been extant since the beginning of mankind. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. It says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues. So coming out of her, who is the her, brethren? Again, again we see instruction to take action to come out and to self-quarantine ourselves from her. And the her being referred to is the false religions and the false economic system that's blended with those religions which have been extant on the earth since the flood at the Tower of Babel. And that is a system that we need to be constantly quarantining ourselves from. My people, 
is the next part of the verse. It says, my people, come out of her, my people. And since this is spoken from a voice in heaven, it is God that is talking and referring to his people. And who are his people? Well, they, they are the ecclesia, or the ones God has called out at this time to be first fruits in his kingdom. That you be not partaker of her sins. That during the corona and the COVID pandemic, people have been mandated to self-quarantine physically and not be partakers, hopefully, of the coronavirus. But God expects us to live a spiritually quarantined life and not be partaking in the sins of this world, so that ye receive not of her plagues. Brethren, partaking of the sins of this world will eventually lead to plagues that will be responsible for the physical death of billions of people at the end of this, at the end of this age before Christ's return. However, more importantly, we need not to be partakers of the sins that will be spiritually detrimental to us and we must spiritually quarantine ourselves from the world so that we don't become partakers of those plagues and lose our spiritual lives. Now with those two scriptures, here's the irony, brethren. Turn to John chapter 17. The irony and the challenge that we have of coming out spiritually from the world and self-quarantining is that we must still live in this physical society. A couple weeks ago, Dad and I had the chance to go down and see Pierre Carnard, who was in prison down in Sing Sing in Westchester County, just north of New York City. And he as we go to see him, we normally talk about a lot of things in the Bible, a lot of the scriptures, and sometimes he gets questions about some of the scriptures. And he did ask the question at one point during our visit two weeks ago, Mr. Lambert, how do you stay spiritually clean in a world that's run by Satan? So Dad said, well, Pierre, it's like trying to live clean while living in a sewer. <laughs> And that's kind of the situation that we're in. John 17, verse 15. Christ was praying this prayer to God the Father before he was taken out and crucified. And he said, I do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. So, brethren, that's the irony and the challenge to be spiritually self-quarantining while meanwhile living in a world run by Satan. Brethren, over the past six months, we have heard new terms like social distancing, coronavirus, and we have had rarely used words like quarantine brought into our everyday conversations. The coronavirus has brought back the practice of physical quarantining back into the lives of many people. This physical coronavirus will come and go eventually. However, for those of us that God has called at this end time to be kings and priests in his kingdom, we must come out of this world, be separate, and self-quarantine ourselves spiritually. <laughs>